fasting is a Muslim only prerogative. Is that correct? That's right. It is compulsory only for a Muslim to fast. It is not a requirement for a non-Muslim or unbeliever to fast. And the reason is that Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 39, that the deeds of a non-believer, a person who is a non-Muslim, the deeds of an unbeliever is like a mirage in a desert. And the thirsty person thinks that there is water, but when he reaches there, he does not find anything else, but he finds Allah. And Allah will pay him for his deeds. And Allah is swift in taking of accounts. That means in the hereafter, the unbeliever, for his deeds, he will get nothing. And Allah is swift in taking of accounts. So for unbeliever, all the deeds, they are useless in the hereafter. Because all the deeds have to be accompanied with the intention. And as we discussed yesterday, that one of the criteria, an important criterion for a person fast to be accepted is the niya. it is the intention. And the intention is that the fast should only be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no one else. So if a non-Muslim, if an unbeliever who does not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where is the question of him doing the niya, doing the intention of fasting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So that is the reason it is not required for unbeliever to fast. If he fast without the intention, it will just be like anything else. It will not be an act of worship. It will not be a fast as is considered in Islam. So therefore, the niyyah, the intention is very important. So for unbeliever, any act of worship, until he has faith, until he believes, until he believes that there is only one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, unless he says the kalama, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that there is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah, all the acts of worship, they are useless for the hereafter. But the moment a non-believer, a person who is not a Muslim, he accepts Islam, for him it becomes obligatory. If he accepts Islam in the middle of the month of Ramadan, from that moment onwards, fasting becomes compulsory for him. But the past, Allah will not take into account. Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 38, that say to the unbelievers, that if they start believing, the past will be forgiven. That means the moment a non-Muslim accepts Islam, all his past sins will be forgiven. But the moment he accepts Islam, from that time it becomes obligatory on him to fast.